Oh, that's a big, big key. Yes! Woo! That's what we come to the land of the long white cloud for, that's for sure. Phew. Ever since I was a little kid, I've always had this fascination with trying to catch a kingfish. I've heard so many stories about how hard they fight pound for pound, and over the last couple of years, I've just wanted to be tight with one so, so bad. The kingfish aren't running in Tasmania, but luckily, in the far north of New Zealand, in Paihia, which is where I'm located, they run all year round. Typically, they come in pretty thick of a summer, with about March being where you get the biggest kingfish of all. Today's mission is to get tight with a kingfish and experience this fighting fish pound for pound for everything that it's got. So kick back, grab a beer, and enjoy this really epic episode of Tazcast. We are here today at the beautiful Bay of Islands, which is north of New Zealand, a collection of 150 islands. I think we're gonna head out wide this morning and see what we can pick up. If not, we'll come into the shallows and chase some snapper later on. So we're gonna get into it, rig up, and start making the voyage out. Bit of a trek, um, but thanks for coming along for the journey. First order of business this morning, like every other Kiwi. <laughs> Grabbing some fresh larvies. On the little packs. Two. Well, we've filled the tank with liveies. It's time to get a couple of these guys out and hope for something a bit bigger. Turn them into a kingy. Turn them into a kingy, that's the goal. I better introduce you to the captain for today. This is Derek. Hey, hey. But, um, yeah, so the live rig, a couple of sinkers just to get it down, hooking through the nose. A little bead on there just to stop the sinkers clanging together. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a good idea. So that's the goal, that's the objective. Fingers crossed we can get a king. If not, we'll be hunting some snapper, I reckon. Oh yeah, there's something on it. Well, we've come out a little bit wider. Nine pins just over here. And it looks like we've hooked up on the livey. Probably a little snapper on the end of it. Not a bad way to start the day, at least. Oh, it's a shark. I've been sharked straight up. Little baby Mako. Wow. That's a baby Mako, hey. Yeah, that's... Well, eat. Yeah, we don't want him to come in the boat, no. Oh, exactly what we wanted. Nice clean release. <laughs> oh. Woo! On the way down, too. Oh. You're kidding. Whoa, look at him go! He's going! Woo! Just drop the fresh bait down. Didn't even make it to the bottom. Oh, come on, please be the target. <laughs> yes, come on. A little bit more on the drag. Yeah, just in case he wants to run a bit more, hey? Oh, this is what we're here for. Gosh, he's got some run on him. Yeah, with those head shakes, it's not quite. Yeah, Tasman! Oh, 
Oh, please don't be a shark. Not a shark, Don't even say the word. Oh, God. Cheer it. It's gone a bit lighter. Oh, I just got chomped. No. Wow, look at that. Oh, he got chomped on the way up. That was a... Wow. No. What? I felt it just go a little bit lighter. That was a good size king too. Oh, mate. Oh, first king you hooked and it sharked. Oh. Absolutely gutted. Paid my taxes on that one. First king. <laughs> How disappointing. <laughs> oh, dear. up again yeah I can feel some different tail beats to the last one so what have we got here snapper nice little snap how about that nice little pretty spots on him nice snapper on the live bait Good sized eater. Do we want it? Oh, yes. He's coming home with us too. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's a king. Oh. Yeah. Come on. Can't get much on him. Oh god, come on mate. No! Shark again. Oh no. Oh f no. Oh. I reckon the bronze is on him now. A little, not much. On that drop again, he just, he was getting harassed on the way down. Oh, just when it went slack then. It's like it got eaten. I was getting ground on him before, but now I can't. 
It's pretty bizarre. Got up maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe 30 odd meters, probably got him up. And then what we think is I've picked up some kind of long line of sorts. So we've got a clip caught up in uh, in the rig that we didn't put down. So who knows what happened there? Maybe the tax man came along and then. There's a 177 there, that's shine. Yeah. Oh dear. That Mackie though. On the way down, he was just getting harassed. I actually stopped because he was getting harassed yeah, on the way down. You're going to feel it on the way down. If you're getting harassed, that's the level you want to leave him at. Yeah. So hopefully we've just hooked a king. We're just trying to get out of this zone. Ah, oh. just trying to get out of this zone a little bit where these sharks have been hitting us. Fingers crossed we can get something happening. You want me to give him a bit of hurt? Pardon? Little bit. I've gone up a little bit, I just don't want to tighten it too much. I think he just got shark day. There he is. Yep. Oh, we are just donating. So I've hooked five, chopped five. Hopefully a King Fisher will do the job for us this time. We've decided to leave those two other reefs that we went and visited just because those sharks are so brutal at the moment. Oh. So we're just marking up, trying to find a little bit of ground. Oh, yes, oh no, yes, there's one, there he is, uh, on the drop, uh. no, yep, oh yeah, oh, He's going hard. Uh. 
Oh, hot damn. Can I grab that gimbal, please? Come on. On a 300 gram jig. Hopefully it's a target. Feels a little bit loose. You need three of them off you. Come on. Please be. Hello. Nothing's on him. You can go easy. Oh, he's a good size. Oh, yes! Yeah! Woo! Oh, special, brother. Nice, oh, special. Woo! You're yeah! kidding! Must have been that kingfish or a pop. There you go, have a beer. Look at that beautiful creature, holy hat. How much you reckon the, uh, oh, he'd be at least 80. Oh yeah, he's over 80. Probably about 90. 90 centimeter kingy. That is epic. You, you beauty, look at that for a king, huh? Probably going 80, nearly 90 centimeters. But my God, they go so hard too. That is epic. On the 300 gram jig, nice big king doggy. Finally, after years of trying. <laughs> Just gonna try now with a uh, bottom meat, 250 gram. Rigged up a little bit of a fillet. Sit that in the water column and hopefully something will happen. Thanks to Snapbait for this one. That's a good fish. On the bottom, mate. Yes. What if I hooked? What is that? Whew. Oh, God, that's going off. Taking line off. Yeah. On the bottom, mate. Oh, what is that? It's gone a bit. Oh, and he's waking up now. Starting to fight like a king. No worry. Oh, that's still there.
the car. Kingy, oh, it's a shark. Oh dear. Is that a schoolie? Yeah, it's a school shark. Big school shark on the bottom meat. Well, there you go. They work. Oh no, it's hooked. He's hooked heavy. Oh. He wasn't going anywhere, was he? Oh dear. Look at all these cars. They are everywhere. Let's see if I can foul hook one. Got him. <laughs> have a bit of grunt to him. Ooh, yeah, it is. Oh, that's even better bait. Oh, right, that is incredible bait. They're um part of the tuna family too, aren't they? Yes, they are. As soon as I foul hooked this Cohero, we put it on our live bait rig, dropped it about 30 meters down into the zone, and bam, we were hooked up. Oh, come on, buddy. That is a big monster king. My God. Yes. Woo. That is a big boy. You beauty. We're just gonna chuck this kingy on the way. All right, bets are in. I'm going 12.5. <laughs> 13. 13? Always so hard to get him in the hook, right? What's that looking? Whoa. A bit hard to tell. About 12 and a half. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> Another very beautiful size kingy coming in at about 13. Nice. 12 and a half, 13. Incredible species on the live bait. Just seems live bait and just, well we've had one on the jig, one on the live bait. We've hooked a couple on the live bait, but we keep dropping them. 
Thanks to this new reef though, it's uh, nowhere near as sharky. But that is epic. What a, what an awesome day out <laughs> on the water. Huh? Can't complain with that. First two kingfish, and they're both over 10. That's what we come to the land of the long white cloud for, that's for sure. Phew. The bite's gonna start going a little bit cold. It's the top of the tide, so we're gonna head back in. So if you're ever in pie here, make sure that you come out with Derek, with big fish. He knows how to catch him. <laughs> what a sensational day, huh? On the live baits, one on the jig. Another little snapper in there as well. Yeah, I forgot about the snapper too. But thank you very much for watching this episode of Tad's Cast Fishing Adventures in the land of the long white cloud. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel for some more action. And see you later, Wallaby Dick. Woo! Between the two of us, there is no way that we can eat all these fish. So we're gonna donate a couple of these kingies. There you bloody go. How about that? See ya, you wallaby dick. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> you beauty. <laughs> wallaby dick. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this episode of Tad's Cast Fishing Adventures. We're giving away over $3,000 worth of experience and fishing gear over at tadscast.com.au. Thanks to Tamer Marine Launceston. All you have to do to be in the draw is simply purchase anything from the Tazcast website and that equals one entry. There are four separate packages to be won, including a day on the water with yours truly. See you in the next episode and thanks for watching.